But right here in this spot that Danny's brought us to, it's obviously loaded up with chum, which is not our target. There's some really nice coho in here that just came in on the last rain. But more importantly, there are some giant dollies and the water's clear enough, which is not working to our advantage. We can see two just, I mean, Danny, how big are those? It's like 30 inches probably. Yeah, they're, they're bigger than the ones we got the other day. So we want to catch them, but they're just being dormant. I've put gear in front of them. I put a bead, I put a spinner in front of them. They're not moving at all. And that's probably because there is more food than they know what to do with right here. With all these chumps spawning, the coho in here, they're eating the flesh, they're eating the eggs. They don't have to try very hard to find any food when they do get hungry. Right now, they're not hungry. That is a beautiful dolly. Nice Gosh, fish. Look at these things. Great fish. Danny and I are doubled up again, but I got what I was after, <laughs> dolly. Here he comes right this way. He was right next to the big one I was after, but this guy swooped in and ate before. Whoa. Love the white tips on the fins. So yesterday we were catching these dollies on twitching jigs and they were half ounce, three eighths ounce twitching jigs. So today in this calm water, clear water, I just downsized six pound line, ultralight rod and a quarter ounce maxi jig. I figured that might get, get them to bite. And what I noticed is that when I fished it fast, they didn't want it. Put it right in front of their face and just barely twitch it almost like bass fishing. Right away, got this guy to go. Danny's got a really nice big old buck. And what's happening is that these dollies like this guy right here are up in here feeding on their flesh and on their eggs. Predator and prey right there. That's it. Look at those teeth. The ones we caught yesterday, a lot of those ones, you see how they were all bright, no scales missing, shiny looking fish. Those ones are sea run. They come up from the salt water. Sure. So they're, they're clean, they're bright. They don't have any scars on them. They look, they haven't been in the river for long. That one had a really dark gills, dark face, scars all over. He's in here fighting. So he's, that one probably lives in the river all the time. 